Number 2459 or Victor, Bangor Tower. Runway 33, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 2459 or Victor. Alright, and now we have a two one month. One six Bravo, oh. turn right at Kilo, contact ground point nine. One six Bravo, turning right at Kilo, then I'll contact ground point nine. Okay, well we will just sit here and wait for this student pilot to get out of the way. November two four five nine or Victor. Proceed on course, wind 050 at 10, runway 33, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 33, 245, Victor. Oh wait, I don't have to make airplane sounds. I'm in an airplane. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, come on, get off the ground. There we go. Oh, look, we're flying. Hey, we're flying. Alright, you ready to really go flying? Go ahead. <laughs> Do that in an airline. <laughs> there we go. Now we're flying. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Alright, 600 feet, right turn. Now a lot of people get a little nervous with uh, turns in small airplanes because you have a nice big window and you can tend to look right to the Victor, contact departure 118.9 or 2. Over to departure 118.9 or 2, 59 Victor. So you can kind of look right down to the ground and a lot of people get a little worried. So if that bothers you, I will keep the sharp turns to a minimum. It's all, right. all good for me. This is this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to keep on climbing. As we climb, we're changing our altitude fairly quickly. So just like in an airliner, yeah, you, uh, you might have to pop your ears every once in a while to equalize the pressure in your inner and outer ear. Travis, to the visual three two pop up. November two four five nine Victor Banger approach uh, traffic twelve o'clock one mile obstruction type in altitude unknown. Uh, 2459 Victor looking for traffic. And 59 Victor, uh, your uh, radar contact, just 20 degrees to the left to stay, uh, avoid that. 20 degrees left, 59 Victor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey. uh, so if we look at our right wing, there should be an airplane somewhere, but they didn't have them on radar contact. So, we'll just see if we can see him. He's probably out here doing the same thing we're doing. And, uh, 2459 Victor, uh, no contact on the traffic. Do you have, uh, heading to him now? 59 Victor, he's no longer observed, so we'll resume on navigation. Alright, we'll look up for the ghost and, uh, resume on navigation, 59 Victor. Yeah, that's one of uh, a target that has absolutely no beacon associated with it, so it, it could even be a truck on a hill. Roger that, 245, not a Victor. Uh, right, alpha. right here is good. Clear to pop alpha, clear visual approach, runway 33. Clear to visual 33, 32 pop alpha. Bangor Alpha Nassau, 84 Tango Tango, with 2,000 feet, Swan Lake, inbound with Quebec. Being in the plane and having the camera and trying to take pictures, it reminds me of Dead Rising. Uh, and <laughs> 84 Tango Tango, squad 0274. Let's just not have the zombies afterwards. Yeah, I would definitely love to know.
All right, let's see if we can wave to these guys in the boat. We do a little rock of the wings. Uh, November 625 Alpha Charlie, I dead bag route altimeter is 3005. <laughs> yeah. Citation 5 Alpha Charlie, radar contact, two and a half miles north of the <laughs> Harbor Airport. Turn left, direct MJ. All right. And then it's a full tank of radar contact, seven miles northeast. Oh, what was that? Belfast Airport on a left base runway. Because I said, do you like messing with the boats? I do. <laughs> They're out having a good time. We're having a good time. Five off a trolley contact. Right. Don't do that to the kayakers, do you? Point two five for long. Is I don't do that to the kayakers. I asked if you do. Uh, there's too many of them. But I sometimes I bother them if we go down to Rockland. There's always a bunch there. No. There are nice uh, schooners there too. All right, so we'll climb up a little bit, get out of the side of Bangor's airspace, and then I'm going to let Shu take over and do whatever he wants. <laughs> Please don't kill us. Within reason. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let you do more or less whatever you want, and I'll tell you if you're going too far. <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, so we'll just climb up here a little bit. How you guys feeling? <laughs> Good? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, right here is good. All right, Shu, put your hands on the yoke. <laughs> and she's all yours. You can turn her, point her, whatever direction you want to go. All right. Just go on and get a feel for her. It's uh, unlike driving a car, so you, when you, you turn the yoke to the right or left, you yep. establish a bank, and then you turn it back to neutral to hold, uh, hold that bank, and that's a turn. And okay. then you pitch up for a climb, and then you nose down for a descent. So it's the actual flying part is actually about as easy as you can imagine. I'm just gonna adjust the throttle as you pitch up or down to get you a good speed. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. That. Hey. <laughs> so with all these screens and stuff, it'll probably just uh, be a little bit too shiny. Hey. Yeah, so try a left turn here. Let's do a nice steep left turn. There you go. Hold her right about there. Right, you'll have to do a little bit of right aileron to keep her from rolling over. There you go. There you go. Nicely done, sir. Having fun? I am. <laughs> yeah, so you got all three dimensions you can work with. You can go wherever you want. Up, down, left, right. And you're going, uh, oh, about 120 miles an hour right now. Wow. Let's go a nice, nice power descent. Let's just hold this right here. There. Oh, that's about 130 miles an hour. <laughs> wow. So cool. All right, let's do a left turn. I'm going to see if we can sneak back around and go to uh, where your house is. Okay. That would be awesome. Right, so hold that right there. Nice, you got this. You're a natural shoe. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, just, just ride them. Just the plane will naturally try to recenter itself, so shouldn't have to fight them too much, but yeah, a little bit of bumps. 
How are you doing, Ann? I am doing fantastic. I've got so many videos and pictures. <laughs> I am a happy little girl right now. Great. Talk to uh, Bangor for a minute. Yeah, Bangor approach. Skyhawk 2459 Victor. At 59 Victor, yes, sir. All right, we're going to uh, head over to uh, Old Town and do some, or uh, Old Renault and do some uh, circles over the town there, take some photographs, then go into Old Town and then back to you, I believe. Okay, uh, how low are you going to be going? Oh, about uh, 1,000 to 1,500, so just underneath your airspace. Okay, uh, unless uh, you can just stay on this frequency and just uh, let me know when you uh, go into Old Town. Sounds good, 2459 Victor. All right, I'll take control for a minute. All right. Thank In you. In fact, uh, 59 Victor, I'll uh, make it easier on you. Radar service is terminated. Remain on that squawk and just call me when you're inbound to Bangor. That makes it nice and easy. I'll switch over to uh, Old Town's frequency or stay with you. Uh, hey, well, why don't you switch to the Old Town radio, uh, the uh, common traffic advisory frequency at this time. All right. Change and uh, I'll stick to the code and then call you back when we're inbound to Bangor. Ooh, bump, bump, oh. A little bit. Bump, yeah. Okay, we want it. Better vents are making my mustache blow. <laughs> <laughs> 122 8. Thank you for that, by the way. Oh, yeah, well. I try to always have a little bit of fun. So that's the Old Town Airport right there. We're going to go just do a little landing just for fun over there. Okay. And then we'll come back to Bangor. But before that, you got to help me find your house. Know how to get there on the ground. See about getting there from the air. <laughs> <laughs> and the Circle K, I'll be. Yeah, so there's the university, of course. You can see the big field over there. I don't know if you can see that in out the window. Uh. Which way? Oh, maybe, yeah, I think so. Yeah, let me shallow this descent a little bit, that's a little bit too fast. Get a little bit more comfortable for you guys. Oof. That's the circle right there. Yeah. We'll be right up over here. Alright, here we go. Down here on the left should be it. Because that's the trailer park. We should be right up here. I see it. Or, you no, know, wait. One of those in there. Help that we're I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, you're in the trees. Let me come around to the other side. Yep. Yeah. Let me go out over here. Yeah, this way is good. I just saw the house with the red roof, which is like two houses down from us. It was definitely it. Oh, yeah, because there's like the downtown area right there. Oh, yep. my God. That's so cool. Wow, I didn't realize how hidden our house is in the, the trees. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Arrow. Darn turbulence. Where's, oh, there's the road. Okay, so right turn.
along that road, right? That's yeah. The, yeah, that's the road. We're almost completely covered with trees on yeah. our house, though. Wow, that's awesome. If you see that house with the red roof, we're right up on the left after that, so. I think it's back that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, wait. You get it? I think so, yeah. Awesome. Oh, you got a picture of the area, so. Hey. Yeah, just take a million pictures. One of them is bound to catch it. So yeah. there's the university right on the right. She's got a great view of that. Oh, nice. All right, now we're going to go land at Old Town. And Old Town traffic, Skyhawk, remember 2459er Victor is approximately three miles to the uh, southwest of the field. We're going to be landing Old Town. Sitfield traffic, Piper Cherokee 2427, left downwind 36, Sitfield. at the old town is they are right underneath Bangor's airspace so I don't want to I have to stay low to avoid Bangor's airspace but I gotta get higher to go into old town's traffic pattern Jeez. it's kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> all right so we're gonna be landing we're only three zero and old town traffic sky number two four five nine Victor it's gonna be uh, entering a left downwind runway three zero old town Traffic pattern looks clear. Looks like we're the only ones out here. Pitfield traffic, Piper Cherokee 2427 Mike, left on base 36, Pitfield. Pitfield. That's a little ways away. Little, well, not too ways away. That's always out of Bangor, I guess. Checklist, gas, mixture, undercarriage, prop, seats, everyone got their seatbelt on? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's cute. They painted the uh, identifier of the airport, and, or they, <laughs> they mowed it into the grass there. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, this is going to be bumpy over this river, it always is. is three miles to the northeast, going to overfly the field for winter. And uh, Melanaka traffic, uh, November 1999 or 8, X-ray over Melanaka with uh, jumpers, two minutes, Melanaka. Jumpers, doing some parachuting today, nice. Pittsfield traffic, Sierra 750 Tango Hotel is uh, 10 to the west inbound, landing Pittsfield. And Old Town traffic, Skyhawk 500 Victor, left base runway uh, 30 Old Town. All right, final is clear. We are definitely the only ones at Old Town. Now, once again, as we pass over this river, the difference between water and ground is going to make it bouncy, and I do apologize, but it is what it is. And as I put in flaps, the plane tends to uh, slow down and rise up a bit, so okay. that's what that feeling is. But once we get down to the ground and below the tree line, everything smooths right out. There we go. And Old Town traffic attack, 500 Victor, short final, 3-0 Old Town. Now these untowered airports, everything's done with uh, just radio communication between pilots. So you just kind of tell people where you are and what you're doing, and then other people let you know where they are and what they're doing. That's why we're hearing people from Pittsfield and everywhere else. Ah. All right, last notch of flaps over the trees. A little bit of power. 
And there's that bump over the water. Come on. Ah, uh, the wind was fighting me the whole way. Aww. Whoops. All right, a little, little bit of a sink. And a little bit of a float. Oh, that was bad. Oh. You can do better than that, Ian. Aw. <laughs> the wind pushed me off to the left and I was trying to fight it. Oh, well. A little bit more of a crosswind than I expected. Uh. There we go. That feels nice. Want me to close my window? Yeah, you can close it. And Old Town Traffic, Skyhawk 2459 Victor, taking off runway 30, Old Town. Alright, now I know that Crossman's there, I will be ready for her. <laughs> yeah. Nice and smooth. Nice. And Old Town Traffic, Sky 500 Victor, climbing through 600, departing the pattern towards Bangor. You and you. Yeah. Uh, Banger approach, Skyhawk, November 2459 Victor, off Old Town. Skyhawk 2459 Victor, ident, please uh, say altitude. 2459 Victor, ident, and we are climbing through uh, 9 or 100 right now. Uh, 5-9 Victor, radar contact, a uh, mile and a half west of the Old Town Airport, enter right base, runway 33, and uh, the wind 010 at 7, altimeter 3005. All right, well, enter right base, runway 33, 2459 Victor. And 5-9 Victor, did you verify your full stop, or did you want to stay in the touch and go pattern? Well, let's do a full stop for today. 5-9 Victor, contact tower, 120.7, you have a good day. Over to tower, 5-9 Victor, good day. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I like a lot of the controllers at Bangor. They're a little bit of a hard ass sometimes, but they're they're quite friendly and uh, they they're always accommodating. Aww. Yeah, Bangor Tower stack. Remember two four five nine or Victor twelve hundred off of Old Town inbound to Bangor. Two four five nine Victor Bangor Tower runway three three wind zero two zero at one two clear to land. Clear to land runway three three two four five nine Victor. be not many people there if they're giving me a landing clearance all the way out here but hard to tell sometimes they do they know they know what's you know that if there's people in and around and they know I'm gonna get there first so they're pretty good at timing that but yeah here's Bangor oh cool there's like a dirt track over here see that oh, yeah never even knew it existed oh. funny what you can see from the air you wouldn't even know it existed, but up oh. here it's obvious. Oh, okay, plane, please stop bouncing. <laughs> this is moderate turbulence. I do apologize. Ugh. That's alright. <laughs> e yeah. It's gonna be like this all the way over these parking lots and yeah. everything, all the roads. I never realized it It had that effect on planes. It's so cool. Well, again, it's uh, small airplanes, they get, it, it makes it a lot more than a bigger airplane. And, the, and again, like I said, if we got up a little, you know, 3,000 feet or so, all of this would go away. Yeah. And you'd be left with what we just we felt earlier in the flight. Hey, lady, if you look out the right, that's our old apartment. What? Uh, orange oh, wow, roof right yeah. there. Because there's the water tower. Yep. Aww. Get a picture of that. I'll try to hold her steady for you. I think I got it. Oh. Nice. 
All right. No one else in the vicinity of the airport. Cleared to land. Good to go. Wind 34010. All right, right down the middle of the runway is the wind, and it is moderately strong. So, hopefully this will be a lot smoother than Old Town's. Plus, their runway is about three times bigger. <laughs> uh. It's nice when I have that much runway to work with. We're low enough by that golf course, I think I just saw my boss. Uh -uh. Nice. Golfing. That's hilarious. His hair is kind of easy to see in the old pastel <laughs> shirt. That's how you do it. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I missed my usual turnoff though. On to the next one. Cessna 590 Victor right on Kilo, ground point enter. Right on Kilo and over to ground point enter, 590 Victor. Good day.